All right, this is a quick story about the good things that can happen to you if you decide to be brave. You see, I recently wrote a book involving my expertise and I'll be honest with all of you here that I felt a little silly writing on the very topic that I did. And actually, throughout the entire process of writing, I kept struggling with this little voice inside of me that was saying, come on, Jim, writing a book on this topic, is there even an audience for this? And if there actually is, will it really help anyone? Don't you think that these individuals can figure things out on their own? Does anyone really need you to write this book? So yeah, I really struggled with these little intrusive thoughts throughout the writing process. And I'll be honest here and letting you know that a part of me still feels a little silly letting you all know what I've written about, and I'll delve into that a little bit more in a moment. Now, thankfully, as silly and even as vulnerable as I may feel at times about having written this book, my passion doesn't really seem to care. And that's exactly where you come into the story. You see, I wrote a book because I am madly in love with what I do. And so the main purpose of this video is to do two things. Now, the less important of these two things is to very briefly tell you where my passion for injury rehabilitation comes from and to use it in a way that sets the stage for number two, which is to encourage you to be brave enough in this life to find what you love and to move towards it without being fearful of what others might think. And I say this because doing so will undoubtedly enrich your life experience. And I was absolutely reminded of this as I wrote page after page in my book. And so if you've got a passion that you want to pursue, then we need to talk. So if you don't know me, on this channel, I produce content on all things pertaining to injury prevention and injury rehabilitation. And that's because A, I'm a physical therapist who draws heavily on movement and exercise as a form of physical medicine for the body, and B, because I'm obnoxiously passionate about what I do. But this is not about me, this is about you. And I say that meaning that whatever that little voice inside of you is saying, like, you know, the one that is just gnawing at you in a way that's asking you to pursue your passion and to not hold back, then please listen to what it's trying to tell you. And for me, being a physical therapist is honestly just one of the coolest jobs ever. And yes, of course, that is a biased statement, but hey, I mean, that's a statement expected to be coming from me. Helping others come back from pain and injury and live stronger lives. I mean, it really is the honor of a lifetime for me and I absolutely do not take this opportunity lightly. I mean, I say that knowing that I have found my passion in this life and when it comes to pursuing it in a way that benefits others, I am absolutely all in. And so if you haven't found that something in this life that lights a fire in you, you know, something that just winds your clock and that you cannot shut up about, and my sincerest hope is that you'll soon come across something that achieves those feelings and excitement within you. Life just gets so much better when we tap into our passion. And I mean, like, look, like we need to be a geek about something in this life. And when it comes to being passionate, the funny thing that I've learned about passion itself is that it soaks into you in a way that compels you to help others who are interested in the very same thing. Like when you're passionate about something, like truly passionate about it, you just can't keep your mouth shut about that topic. And so it was at this point that I felt something within me was telling me that I needed to write a book. Now, I, I don't know if any of you identify with this feeling, but I, I certainly hope you do. Like I love physical therapy so much that I feel that I have a duty at not only to serve my patients in the clinic, but also those who want to become physical therapists themselves. My life is so immeasurably better because I get to share and give back my knowledge in ways that enrich the lives of others. And I want to do that in as many ways as possible. And I believe that this is something that we can all do. We've only got so many years on this earth to do what we do. And for me to not share my insights in ways that can help others who want to enter the profession of physical therapy would feel absolutely criminal to me. And so I'm, I guess I'm just wondering if you feel the same with what you do. And if so, what you might feel called to do about it. For me, my most recent endeavor for sharing my passion was to write this book on what many would likely consider to be an unconventional book for physical therapy therapy students or those looking to get into physical therapy school. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that I'm telling everyone that they need to write a book. All I'm suggesting is to not ignore that little voice within you that's begging you to share your passion with the world even if you feel it's in an unconventional way. I truly believe that doing so will not only enrich the lives of others, but yours as well. And I was reminded of this when I wrote my book. For me, my passion wouldn't let me write a book about traditional study tips or topics covered within each course. I mean, that's been done a million times before, and I felt the need to write something that took a bit more of a passionate stance on the entire schooling process. So I wrote about adopting a mindset and implementing tactics that I believe can help give students the permission they're looking for to not blend in with the rest of the crowd. 
crowd. And perhaps I can best sum up the general theme of this mindset with this one paragraph from the book. The profession of physical therapy doesn't need students who ultimately go on to become therapists that are haphazard about learning or who are casual at becoming movement specialists. Our profession is plagued with enough struggles and problems as it is. What it needs are students who have an outwardly evident passion for becoming the best individuals and best professionals they can ultimately become. Our profession needs students who proudly exude their desire to take their love of the human body to new levels. Fearless towards the ridicule of others, as students and practitioners, our passion for what we do must be demonstrated by a sincere yet relentless desire to learn all things pertaining to healing the body through physical medicine. And whatever it is that you decide to do, don't be afraid to let your passion shine through in the process. Like, I mean, just, just try it just once. Let your passion shine through no matter how silly it feels. The only thing that feels better than doing this is seeing how it can help and inspire others in the process. I mean, it's such a life-giving feeling and that's what I was truly reminded of when I wrote this book. Now, as a shameless plug, if you are looking to become a physical therapist or if the topic of my silly little book interests you for any other reason, I've got a link below where you can go and buy the book for only a couple of dollars and you'll get a file containing the PDF document of the book along with an EPUB file that you can upload to your Kindle or similar e-reader device. It's only a few dollars and the money goes to offset the cost of me maintaining my website and perhaps fueling my coffee addiction. Content creation does take a lot of work, but it is work that I truly do love doing because I'm passionate about sharing this message. And thankfully, caffeine certainly helps. Now, if you want a flavor of what the book is like, I've posted a free chapter that you can download. Just check the link below. It'll help you maybe better determine if you get value from its contents. If by chance you have no need for this book or don't find it to be valuable, but you would still like to show support, donations are always appreciated. And if that doesn't work for you, don't sweat it. A simple like on this video would go a long way. Nonetheless, I hope that you're all doing well, that you're staying safe and staying strong, and that you're all making great things happen. So take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.